everybody, it's Ryan again. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a review. Um, just been really busy, haven't really got around to getting my camera out and uh, doing a review. But uh, today, I am bringing you a video, and um, it's going to be on Tangier's Green Apple Candy. You can see right there, um, about 250 grams of this from 5starhookah.com. Um, black, black in color, typical Tangier's cut pretty juicy. I don't know if you can tell. I don't want to dump it all over the place, but uh, if you can see that, it's pretty good um, cut on it. I've been smoking it here for about 30 minutes. I had to get it started and uh, whatnot. Um, I have been smoking hookah off camera for a while. I just haven't felt like doing a video. Um, but yeah, I'm smoking it out of my KM Double Kamanja with a Pico Bowl, two coals and a turquoise Najum hose. Um, I also have a, an extra large gold um, wind cover um, that I might use in a little bit whenever the coals get pretty small. Um, but I picked up this flavor a, a while back, never reviewed it, so decided I would just go through all my containers and start reviewing the ones I haven't reviewed yet. Um, but yeah, I've been smoking it for about 30 minutes, let me go ahead and show you the clouds. Clouds are pretty decent. Um, I do have a little bit of a headache, so I can't really take as much smoking as I want, just because I don't want to hurt myself, because my headaches are pretty, pretty big. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a good flavor. I'll go ahead and take a couple of pulls for you and uh, tell you what I think. So yeah, Tangier's Green Apple Candy, great flavor. Um, what I get off of it is a like a green apple candy like uh, maybe a Jolly Rancher or biting into a fresh green apple that's what it kind of tastes like. It, um, it's supposed to have a candy taste but at the same time I get an aftertaste of maybe like a a fresh green apple. Um, I only got two coals on it. Um, it's a really low heat tobacco. You don't want to be putting a whole bunch of heat on it or you're going to burn it and you're going to need a bad session. Um, but the clouds are actually pretty decent. Um, it's a really good flavor if you're trying to try something different. It's uh, one of those flavors that you should definitely pick up. I'm not too sure if 5starhookah.com has it in stock right now, um, but when it was in stock, I picked it up from 5starhookah.com. I don't know if you can tell in the background, I have the Hookah Cartel's uh, website um, up on the big screen. also got my 5star uh, hookah uh, coal of choice, the Coco Jamras, definitely a great coal. I haven't really had a problem with them, except for when you get, to, get down to the bottom of the box, it's just little crumbles. Um, but yeah, there's not much I can uh, say more about this flavor. It's it's really good, and I recommend that you try it and pick it up. Um, I'd probably give this flavor maybe about uh, 7 out of 10. It's, uh, it's a good flavor, not the best, but it's definitely a flavor I can smoke uh, again and again and won't get tired of it. So yeah guys, um, yeah, I just basically want to throw out this review for you guys, it's been a little while, and uh, be on the lookout for new videos that will be coming out pretty soon, I'm just going to go through all my Tangiers, all my containers, and just review everything, um, I still have to review some Shiazo Steam Stones that um, I got sent to me from the Shiazo company down there, uh, Rob sent me those. I need to review those for him still, um, but just look on my channel and look out for my new videos. I'll be posting them up um, momentarily. I'll do a couple videos and uh, keep you guys posted in what's going on in the uh, world of hookah for me. Um, I haven't purchased anything really, and um, yep, this has been a hookah tobacco review brought to you by me, myself, Ryan, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, peace out.